Welcome back to the channel and today we are working on this little 212 Predator style motor. It says it's a Greyhound but it's the same thing as a Predator. Six and a half horse. And what the problem is the ignition cap is missing. And I tried testing it by just holding a little gap like that and cranking it over and there was no spark. So I believe the the ignition wire might be bad or it broke somewhere back in there or it might just be the coils bad. I did test the on off switch. That is good so that is not what the problem is. And neither is the low oil switch. So I went on hyper.com and I got a brand new ignition coil with a cap and it also comes with a brand new spark plug so uh, let's get this swapped out with the old one and let's get this motor back up and running just a 10 millimeter we got four little bolts to take loose And right there is what we're looking for. Yeah, those are ten millimeter also. Be sure you keep these bolts separate from the cover bolts because they're longer. And let's see, we got the kill switch wire here to unplug. That's going to feed up through behind there. Uh, might be easier if I loosen up the gas tank. Give a little more clearance. Take it all the way out, but we'll loosen it anyway. Still caught on something. We'll be caught on. There it goes. Got to pull this wire through there. And there's the old one off. <clears throat> and now for the new one. I'm just going to unscrew the cap because it's going to be easier to slide this wire through there. If you know how to do this, just and screw it right off there. There's a, there's a little bitty screw inside here that it will screw right into the wire and make connection.
this. started and then we'll set the gap. I just use a business card to, to set the gap. It's pretty easy to do. Turn around here so you can see. You slide it in between them. Rotate the rotate it around so that the magnet grabs a hold of it and pulls it in. And then tighten it up. And there you go. Now you've got the proper gap between the flywheel and the coil. Now we just put this back together. All right, got the heck back together. Now all we gotta do is put some gas in the tank and let's see if it's gonna run. Got some <coughs> gas in the tank. <coughs> so let's give it a try and see what's going to happen. Let's see, fuel on. We'll choke it and switches on. Thanks to Hypa.com and 
There is the part number for the ignition coil. I'll also leave a link in the description where you can go to the store to get one. <clears throat> anyway, this one's fixed. It's ready to go back to the customer. So, <clears throat> there's how you replace an ignition coil on a small Predator style 212 motor. Of course, the 420s are the same. And but anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.